men's shot has been tinted red, white, and blue in recent years. Last summer's Olympic final came down to two Americans. With his sixth and final throw, world record holder Randy Barnes snatched the gold medal away from his countryman, John Godina. Godina, world champion in 95, but his aspirations for Olympic gold were left unrealized in Atlanta. Now in Athens, Godina's chance for redemption. But the Olympic champion is struggling here in the morning qualifying round in Athens. After two throws, he's only thrown 64 feet, only needs 65 feet to automatically qualify to the final. Barnes, who threw over 72 feet to win the national championships, dumps out on his third and final throw and will not make a final for the first time in his international career. However, there are still three Americans in the final. John Godina, who was fourth at the national championships, got to Athens due to the fact that he got a wild card for being the world champion in 1995. So Barnes will sit on the sidelines. Three Americans in the final. First round, Oliver Sven Buder of Germany, a huge man at 6'6 six, six and 3 quarters, 312 pounds, comes in with a personal best just over 69 feet. And the first round, he pops one out near the 21 meter line. 68, two and a half for the big German, who was fifth at last year's Olympics. Now John Godina, again, so happy that the wild card happened and allowed him to come to Athens. He was the silver medalist last year in Atlanta, employing that spin technique that makes him a good discus thrower as well. And he hops one early, well over the 21 meter mark, 70 feet, two and a quarter. And his coach, Art Venegas, with his coach since UCLA, telling him exactly what he needs to do to stay in command. Godina, an excellent technician, for being such a big guy, 6'4", 290, gets around that ring real well. 70 feet on the very first throw, bodes well for the remainder of the competition for Big John. So results after the first two rounds of the men's shot put final, Godina leading with Booter second, the scary Bagash third. He was also the bronze medalist last year in Atlanta. Back for round three, the shot put, and the disappointment of Atlanta still weighs on John Godina's mind. Most people think that I thought I had it, but I knew that something was going to happen. There were too many good throwers after me for me to be able to hold on for that long. When just one did, and that was Randy, I, I was really uh, less than happy with myself just because I knew that I hadn't done my best for the whole year. I was shocked after it happened. Uh, when, when you come face to face with reality, you know, it, it kind of has a tendency of surprising you. and. And, and kind of sneaking up on you and being very, uh, very cold and cruel. And, and that's kind of what happened. Silver can be cruel for one so driven to win. I need to win. That's all there is to it. And I mean, you know, when it comes down to it, a silver medal is really nice. But I need to win. As far as bad scenarios go, I couldn't have written a worse scenario than what happened last year. This the whole year didn't work, and uh, this year is completely opposite. Alexander Bagash of Ukraine currently in third. I mentioned to you earlier that he is scary. Scary because he's the kind of guy who can come in at the end of the competition and hurt you. He did it that way in Atlanta last summer where he got a bronze on the last throw and a big, big throw for Bagash here in the third round. 30 years old, 6'4", 297 pounds, and that's well over 21 meters. Bagash, a big guy, 30 years old, you see that knee that's strapped, uses the standard O'Brien technique, the glide, but gets all of that weight and all of that strength behind the ball. 70 feet, five and a quarter for Bagash, and into the lead, that matches his all-time personal best. So John Godina has the lead snatch, but early this time he had the snatch. Barnes waited to the last throw of the competition. Godina still has some chances to get back into it. This is third round throw. And that's an improvement for Godina, even though Venegas is telling him he bailed out on the end. When you throw it, keep the body straight. And Godina improving to 70 feet, four and a quarter, just one inch short of Bagash. So it's Bagash leading with Godina second. Now for the conclusion of the shot put, let's go back to Dwight Stone. Sven Buter of Germany already has locked up the bronze medal here. 
and has thrown one centimeter under his all-time personal best, 69 feet, three quarters of an inch. And on the sixth and final throw, he lets it go. And a new personal best for Booter, 69, eight and a quarter, his first international championship medal. And John Godina with his final chance to win the gold. He won it in Gothenburg in 1995, silver medalist last summer, sixth and final effort. And that one is in front of the 21 meter line, so he steps over and he will settle for the silver. And as you know, with John Godina, anything less than a win does not make him very happy, but he'll compete in the discus later in the week. Now, Alexander Bagash, he already has the gold locked up. This 30-year-old father of three from Ukraine. Four throws over 68 feet today, including the winner, 70 feet, five and a quarter. His final throw, and another fine effort right at the 21-meter line. So Bagash will win the fourth gold medal for Ukraine in their independent history. Two by Bubka, one by Kravitz, and one by this man. John Gadina talked to John Dockery after the competition. John, a silver in Atlanta, a silver here at the World Championships. What are your feelings at the moment? Um, it doesn't, you know, it's not a good feeling right now, obviously. I, I, don't, I don't come to these things to, to lose. And no matter what everybody thinks when you, you know, you medal, you're, you've won something. Well, you know, I didn't, I didn't grow up like that. And I, I grew up where you come in first and, and if you don't, then you work as hard as you can to get in first the next time around. So now there's the next time around and I'll do everything I can to get up there. Good luck in the discus. Thank you. So Godina comes up one inch short, but gosh, wins the gold. Godina, the silver and Buder, the bronze. And Bagash, the first day of competition is in the books here in Athens, and John Godina becomes the first medal winner for the United States. Now, if you